Hello students, welcome to Learn Guru classes. So today we are going to start with class 10 biology, the first chapter that is life processes. So in this video, we are going to cover only the introductory part of life process as what is life process, why is it necessary and what are the different elements of life process. So after watching this video, as usual, your concepts about this topic will be very clear. So with this note, let's start our class. We live in a world that is composed of living things and non-living things. But how can you differentiate between a living and a non-living thing? Suppose if a dog is approaching towards you, immediately it will click your mind that yes, it's a living thing because it's moving. Now if you see a baby crawling, and after 10 years, if you see him, you will find him to be a young boy. So, here the baby is growing. So, again the baby is a living thing. So, growth, movement, reproduction, respiration, excretion and responsiveness to external stimulus are some of the traits or characteristics of a living thing, which will not find in any non-living thing. Suppose a refrigerator will not move from one place to another if you won't move it. Or neither it will grow nor it will reproduce. So these are some of the characteristics of living things and non-living things. But what do you call a tree or a plant? Is it a living being? Because trees or plants do not move from one place to another. Of course, you see the movement of trees or plants in the form of growth because they grow. So yes, plants or trees are called living things. But what about trees or plants that do not show any visible growth or animals that are breathing but do not show any visible movement? Won't you call them as living organisms? Movement of a small scale also shows traces of living organism, be it a gigantic banyan tree or a small microorganism. It should perform certain basic functions in order to sustain life. Living organisms are made up of organs, tissues, cells. So cells are the fundamental units of life, be it a unicellular organism or a multicellular organism. Under different environmental conditions, the cells are subjected to wear and tear. So there must be some way to recover the cells or else the cells will die and ultimately the living organism will die. So there must be some maintenance functions in order to sustain the life of living organism. So these maintenance functions are life processes and they should be carried out throughout the life. The maintenance function or the life processes are categorized as nutrition, process of taking food, respiration, process of obtaining energy from food, circulation or transportation, process of circulation or distribution of nutrients or blood into different parts of the body excretion, removal of waste from the body and finally reproduction, process of giving birth to similar ones. So these are the vital functions or elements of life processes. So if any of this is not working properly, the living organism won't be able to sustain their life. Thus we have come to the end of this video where we have discussed about what is life process what are the different elements and why is it necessary? So in the next upcoming videos, we'll be discussing about each and every element of life processes in detail. So for this, you need to stay tuned to Learn Guru classes. So here in this video, if you found this video helpful, please, please subscribe to Learn Guru classes, like and share it with your friends and family. So thank you so much. Bye-bye.